Greetings everybody. All right. Standing here uh, in front of a patch of uh, wild green armoranth. Armoranth, TH. And um, there's like a lot of it going all the way back down there. <laughs> okay, um, I'm sh making a video to show how I'm going to be harvesting this uh, wild armorant. Now, I've been eating a lot of it this uh, year. We're in spring, heading towards summer, and um, I, had, I had made a video showing how the insects love the green armorant and and that's a fact <laughs> you could see by uh, the leaves how um, they've been eaten and um, there's a lot of wasps in the green armorant here because the wasps are uh, and, I, and look at that, I don't know what that is. Huh. And because the wasps are pred uh, predators and they eat the insects. And uh... so anyways, I'm um, gonna show how I've been harvesting this and see, here's uh, my bucket. And I, let me see here, this, I only have like, if I had three hands, this would be easier to show, but um, see here some armorant seeds let's see there let me see how close i could get with the sun i don't know i hope this is coming through armorant seeds are really really tiny but um they're in the same quote like category as the uh quinoa and the chia they're like superfood okay so they're seeds they're not grains like rice okay so there's no gluten and there's just tons of protein in this kind of stuff it's like the chia um, so as you could see let me try to make a, a, a close-up here wait a minute let me come over here and get more comfortable close to the ground here okay I'll try I'll stop moving and see if this um, camera will will pick up um, look at that a, oh he just flew away there's a lot of those beetles here okay there you go I'm not moving now can you see the brown little seeds that are uh, mixed in with the um, green seeds that are not quite ready. Okay, I'm trying not to move here because this camera, when you move, it uh, it gets blurry real quick. Let me see, I I'm gonna try to zoom up, see what happens. Okay, there. Uh, the wind might make things blurry, but the tiny little seeds there, okay? mm-hmm now like I said they're not all ready look at that I don't know if you can see that there's a lot of these beetles here and these beetles are awesome oh it just flew away because they um they chew the wood and uh, the wood uh, the ramiel wood chips the ramiel chipped wood see let me show you uh, this here and um, the the fungi break down the uh, the wood and then um, it makes like a, a white mat and then the uh, lots of things like to eat that fungi but the, these um, these um, beetles are like the termites they um, they eat wood 
But I learned this recently, uh, which is quite fascinating. They don't actually eat. Let me let me try and do it again. They don't actually eat the wood. They take bite-sized pieces of uh, the wood. They break. They 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 break down the wood into bite-sized pieces for them for them whatever size that is and then um, they have gut bacteria they're, they're protites and they're the ones that break down the, that uh, wood that bite-sized piece of wood into amino acids or whatever um, enzymes and whatever quote is the nutrition for the termite or the beetle and that's uh, like for me those are like um, patterns these repeated patterns uh, what is in the micro macrocosm is in the microcosm as above so below these patterns that are constantly repeated at different scales okay the, this is what people allude to in their sacred geometry so um, anyways uh, we have gut bacteria and that our gut bacteria is actually what is uh, eating <laughs> and I like to say that um, I like to make that little um, it's almost like a joke but I say uh, you're not the one eating all you're doing is stuffing things down a hole um, you're using your teeth to grind things down and so you could swallow it and send it down uh, your tube but inside your tube is all the bacteria and they're the ones that are breaking down and, and, and eating and then uh, um, passing things into your blood um, in any event let me show you here so what I'm doing here is that I don't even need to kill the plant to harvest the seeds. See, what I do is I take it like this here, and I um, I put I put the um, the pods, the top pods, in a bucket, and I just go like this here. And whatever seeds are ready, they fall off. I could also kind of like just little help a little bit with my hands, but I don't want to get the green seeds, you see, because they're gonna they're gonna turn brown, and then I'm just gonna have more later. And a lot of it is just going to fall uh, on the ground. Let me do some more. I mean, it's hard now because I only have one hand here, you know. Like, so let's see. Okay, take the top, put it in the bucket, and I whack it like this. Okay, and then the seeds that were ready, and I, you could also just, you know, here gently with your fingers, whatever seeds were ready, come down in here. Uh, let's see. I mean, I apologize for this video not being so so great. Um, what do I zoom? If I zoom, and then I don't move. Now there's a lot of insects in here, which is actually a good opportunity to see what insects are actually involved in this here. <laughs> But I, what I'm going to do when I'm done is I'm going to put the bucket like this down for a while and let the insects crawl out, okay? But um, these are almost going to be ready to be, uh, I mean, there's not much to do after that. Somehow I'll clean it. I'll find a way to clean this stuff out um, and uh, maybe using a screen, a window screen or something. But yeah. So, let me put the bucket down here. There's really a lot of this here. Um, yeah, video is pretty shaky here. Uh, there's really a lot of this here, um, green armorant. Look at that a ladybug there. Huh? And, um, And the interesting thing is, like I said in another video, all this green armorant volunteered here. I <laughs> this was all grass, and then I um, I got um, I mowed the grass and I tilled a lane, and then I got my friend's tractor with a front end loader, and I built this huge mound that I'm go I was going to plant some uh, crop, but 
when I saw this armorant volunteering, I was like, wait a minute. You know, uh, I've been wanting to grow armorant. I tried last year and failed. So, because um, I bought it from the store and it was probably pampered. You know, the plant, the mother plant was probably pampered and this armorant just, just didn't do, just, just wasn't powerful, strong enough, didn't have enough life force. But um, this one here, these seeds, which is, which is phenomenal, okay, because, okay, let me, let me just turn around here and show you this grass, okay, see that? This is what it was like, okay? This is what it was like. I kid you not. It was just a patch of grass. And and so what this means is hidden here in underneath the thick mat of grass of, of sod here there are seeds that are just latent. They're they're just there waiting for their turn. And this is all what came out and it's based almost almost just armorant and okay like I don't know if it this is just random stuff but I had been wishing armorant I have been asking for armorant I tried to grow armorant I had put seeds in and all the insects had like ate them and most of them germinated and died um, it was too hard for for them the Sun was baking that on it this year, I I didn't do anything. I didn't water. I did not do anything. Let me try to zoom up again here on the seeds. Uh, okay, if I don't move, it should focus. Uh-oh. It's not focusing. Oh, well. So, how is it that this all came here? Um, and I've been eating the leaves, like I said, I, um, I, I cook the stems, I cut the stems up, only the top ones because they're, they're more tender, like I'll take maybe this, um, maybe, um, a foot of the top and I just, I just, uh, pull it off with my hands and, I, and then I put that in a, a little bit of, of water and I, and I cook it, everything with, with the seeds the leaves, the stems, and um, boy, it is so nutritious. And now with all the seeds, hey, look at that. These bugs are uh, showing their affection to, towards each other. <laughs> Let's see. Uh-oh, the wind. Anyways, that's it. I just wanted to show how I'm harvesting these seeds. Now, you guessed it. A lot of these seeds are going to fall on the ground. And and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I suspect it'll just come back armorant next year and the years and the year after that. If I could just keep the, um, the top layer of the soil kind of exposed, right, so that they, um, they could germinate and all. But fantastic. Check it out. Go look at uh, Armorant. Read up on it. It is uh, power foods. Um, could just say a little story. Um, and I might get this wrong. I mean, because um, I'm not sure if it was quinoa, Armorant, Chia, or both, or all three. But, um, oh, I'm trying to catch this wasp here. Look at that see the wasp is going for the insects it's just it's going on one one pot after the next looking for insects that's really cool um, so yeah the story is that the uh, when uh, Christopher Columbus came uh, over to the quote new world huh right New Amsterdam which is now New York New Jersey New Orleans new the new world the new world order has been in place for a long time anyways when he came to this new world to establish the new world there was um 
these natives here and they were eating this stuff. They were eating the wild armorant, the seeds, and they were eating the quinoa and the seeds and they were eating the chia. And they even had like, um, and this is where I'm not sure if it was the quinoa or the armorant, but it was for some, I think it's for the Maya um, or the Aztecs. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does, but it doesn't because the story is more like a generic, like uh, a generic um, story here that just to say that they they saw the, these seeds this plant as part of their, their the Godhead you know like part of uh, something very uh, profound like and deep and uh, they made statues they took the seeds and I don't know how they did it but they um, they probably soaked them until they were kind of like uh, made a paste or something and they would make statues of the of the quinoa and they uh, the warriors would eat these seeds because it was full of protein and they could go like on their uh, they could go uh, hunting and they could go do all their physical activities and and, uh, get strong because there was they say pound per pound there's as much protein in a pound of these seeds than a pound of steak so I mean you know you don't need to worry about protein uh, if you know if, you, if you're vegetarian and you know what you're doing and nature will provide protein that's not a problem I mean you don't need to eat a cow uh, eat a pig to have enough protein that's just lobbying from those big corporations you know and and all the shills and the tools for just repeating copy paste copy paste it's a world full of copy pasting but um this thing here is real and it and it volunteered and i bet there might be some really interesting seeds like underneath your grass that are just waiting to pop up and feed you so um, I don't know how much I'll be harvesting, probably a lot. And I'm probably gonna come back in two weeks and get some more. And so I might have like at least, I would say at least half a bucket, if not maybe more, because there's this is not the only place that I've got this stuff. So, and this, um, go to Whole Food or wherever your, your posh little uh, organic food store is and look up Armorant. You'll be surprised how expensive this stuff is. <laughs> All right, so um, what am I gonna do with it? I'm gonna cook it like porridge, uh, or like, you know, it's their seeds, but if you slow cook them and take your time, it makes like the por like a really nice porridge. Uh, as some people say you could put it in a skillet with no oil and just heat it up and it pops and makes like popcorn, like small miniature popcorn. I might try that. And um, there you go, that's enough. All right, I'm talking way too much. All right, bye-bye, take care.